Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I wanted to make this audio to pose a question. Can you take no as an answer? Can you take no as an answer? Okay, because a lot of survivors of narcissistic abuse, they struggle with this because of, um, typically because of rejection and abandonment issues, low self-esteem issues. So there's a need then there to feel accepted, to feel it, whether it's true or not, they just want to feel accepted in someone else's eyes. So the question is, can you take no as an answer? Because the narcissist tells us no all the time. If you think about your relationship with the narcissist, they're telling us no. Are you able to accept a no from someone? Can you accept a no and not take it personally within a personal relationship? Can you operate as an individual who welcomes someone into their life, but if they say no, can you have the emotional maturity to say, okay, well, this person wasn't meant to be a part of my journey. The emotional maturity to not want to twist someone's arm for something they should freely and willingly give to you. People that are meant to be in your life, people that are good for you. Can you do that? Can you do that? So that is the question of this pillow talk. Think about yourself in your last relationship. And you could think about where you are now. Because I'm sure if you're on a channel like mine, you're trying to connect the dots. You're trying to do your shadow work. Can you accept no in life? And this goes beyond the narcissist. You know, I have a video um, on my channel and the motivational playlist that I created for you guys and for some of you who this may be the first video that you've ever listened to of mine um, on this audio but I have a playlist for the rough days for the times where you're feeling down and out for the times that you're feeling triggered about the narcissistic abuse or the traumas or the negative um, experiences that you've had in your life and one of them is called the beauty of the closed door the beauty of the closed door and I highly recommend that you go ahead and listen to that audio as well which is going to talk about it from another angle of the closed door as far as the discard of the narcissist and yes that is mm -hmm. one way that the narcissist somewhat tells you no but they're saying no they're saying no to your love because they're not receiving it and reciprocating it they're saying no to a real relationship because they have you in the cycle of abuse they're saying no to honesty they're staying they're saying no to upholding the true vows of a marriage they're saying no to any type of healthy relationship between mother and child father and son like they're saying no to co-parenting in a fair manner in a healthy manner. They're going to say no to putting the child first. The narcissist is full of no's. They don't want rules and regulation. They want to be emotionally immature and emotionally reckless. And that's going to come with a bunch of no's. They are going to fall short. Okay, you're, you're never going to get what you deserve with them. You're never mm -hmm. going to get that reciprocation. So, you know, in this pillow talk tonight, I want you to really think about, are you able to accept a no? When you don't get what you think you need, okay, or when you don't get what you think you want from external sources and even out of yourself, can you accept the no? Can you accept what feels like a limitation? Because I'm from the school that uh, think, you know, the no is a redirection. It's just a redirection. It's a redirection. Either it's just not for you or it's not right now. But when it comes to narcissistic abuse, that no is to protect you. 
What do you want the yeses for? Yes, I'll continue to abuse you. Yes, I'm going to come. Those are the kind of yeses that you're going to get from the narcissist. When you don't want the no, that's actually protecting you and relieving you and, you know, taking you off the hook. Those yeses, think about what those yeses are. Yes, I'll continue to suck you dry. Yes, I'll continue to throw my problems on you. Yes, you can continue to be part of my supply. Yes, I'll continue to use you, manipulate you and hurt you and treat you like a thing and an item. Something that a tool that I can use. Yes, I'll continue to do that. Those are the yeses. Clearly, we can see in that situation where the narcissist no is actually a good thing. No. No. So we have to learn how to take no's in life and see the beauty and the blessings in those no's, guys. Because a lot of times we want to figure it out. Well, why can't they love me? Why can't they give? And you start giving them more to try to get a little bit more back from them. You know, over giving. You know, you can't. You, emotional. When you'll know when you're emotionally mature. When you don't want to even force these things out of people. Some of you have invested so much in a narcissist. You think it's only fair that you try to get this stuff back from them, but you're completely oblivious to the fact that they can't even give it to you to begin with. They was never going to give it to you. Yes, you put a lot of energy into it, but unfortunately, you're going to walk away, not empty handed, but not reciprocated. What you're going to walk away with is hurts and losses, okay? As you continue to pour more into them. So you're going to have to think about that for those of you who are trying to make sense of it, trying to force the issue. No, you're hurting yourself. You are hurting yourself. You're hurting yourself, guys. And I want you to think about that. Are you able to accept a no? You know, toddlers, they don't like no's. But you guys are well past that age. So if this is going to be part of your shadow work, then so be it. But at least you have an awareness of it and you can start working on it talk you know think about your ego think about your entitlement and then yes think about your um, possible abandonment and rejection and self-esteem issues you're going to want to start working on your perceptions okay because if you are putting so much weight in somebody else's no that means there's not a lot of weight put on your own thoughts and feelings. You, you're needing too much of their approval and acceptance. Okay? And you want to keep that balanced. Look, nobody on this earth is your maker. Okay? Nobody on this earth is your God. I don't care how much money that narcissist had or, you know, because all narcissists aren't broke. There are narcissists and and higher positions in life as far as corporate America, business owners, and, you know, millionaires, even be a billionaire. They may be more prone to get there because they're manipulative. They're willing to do anything. They're willing to use people as tools. So they can go to high places and they may have everything materially and be jacked up in every other way, you know. We just live in an external society. So when people have material things, they're glorified. You know, but no one's really taken into account this person internally. Okay, but emotional maturity will allow you to begin to do that. But just start with yourself, guys, and figuring out if you're able to accept a no. You know, everybody wants what they want. But emotional maturity will let you know, hey, everything I want, I don't need. And wants and needs are two different things to begin with. And just because I like something as well doesn't mean it's good for me. You know, all of this is a part of emotional maturity. And maybe, just maybe that no was good for me. 
<laughs> Maybe that no was good for me. Can you think of times in your life where you wanted something and you didn't get it and you are glad that you didn't get it? I know I can. So those no's, you know, nothing just happens, guys. Nothing just happens. The people that are supposed to be with you will. The things that are going to happen will. Just, you know, something else is for you that's going to be better. That's the perception that you need to start having. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'm not going to be going on and on in this video. But, you know, we, I've been talking a lot about emotional maturity and a lot of survivors have questions about how do you become more emotionally mature? Well, this is some of it right now. And I just put up a live chat that talked about emotional maturity as well. If this is an area that you're questioning within yourself or that you're trying to get stronger in. Okay. So if this video resonates with you, you can go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. I have over 300 videos, guys, to help you um, learn more about narcissistic abuse, help you with your shadow work, help you get over the traumas that you've experienced in your life, help you get reconnected with yourself, okay? I put these videos and audios and live chats and pillow talks and tea times, all types of playlists, guys, that you can go through and to find different topics a little more easier, okay? And, um, you know, just keep doing the work. It takes time. It takes time, especially for those of you that were in the relationship for years. It takes time. And I don't care if you was with that narcissist for three months, okay? I've had the, the shortest relationship that, with a narcissist I had was the most devastating to me out of all of them. So a lot of damage can be done to a person in a little bit of time. That's why they say watch who you keep company with, okay? So even if you didn't have that much time with the narcissist, it could have completely devastated your life in a brief amount of time. All right. So I know been there and done that. And speaking of which, I offer coaching. Um, I do this over the phone. I do it over Skype. I do um, FaceTime over WhatsApp. And I also do email coaching. Go to LakiaCrawford.com. Click the coaching tab. You'll see everything that I offer and the prices and how you go about it. But basically, you know, you see what you want. You can PayPal me and cash app the fee. And then email me two times and dates that you want to have your session. Okay, if it's just an email coaching, then just go ahead and PayPal or cash at me the money and send me the email. And, and your subject, just let me know who you are. Or within the body of the email, of course. All right, if it's the same email address or name, I'll obviously know. Okay, and other than that, you know, thank you for those of you that donate to the channel. And if you would like to donate to the channel and my videos have helped you in your life, um, you're free to do that through PayPal or Cash App. I do have a support group, guys, on Facebook. And that's Lakia Reflection and Progression Crawford. That link will be under this video as well. Um, I have an Instagram, guys. You are welcome to follow me there. One of them is more geared towards my books. And the other one is just my overall life. Welcome to take a glimpse into it. Um, speaking of my books, they are on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com. And they do help you heal from narcissistic abuse. They help you um, in your shadow work and just lots of pearls of relational advice. Because most of the time, people that have been through narcissistic abuse um, have had just tumultuous relationships all their life so there's a lot of cleansing a lot of healing that needs to be done in that realm and um, my books will be a great place for you to go because I'm someone that's been there and done that so you're going to see yourself in a lot of my work but I'm also going to provide the solutions and how you can resolve these toxic behaviors or how you can get over you know, these feelings that you've had, okay? So um, I do recommend that you read my books in order. That would be the X Factor Volume 1, the X Factor Volume 2, The Beauty of the Eye. And then for those of you who have experienced sexual abuse, I did write a book called Silent Tears for Survivor to Survivor. Um, you know, this is more than a pamphlet that you would find in a doctor's office that's just full of statistics. It speaks to the person's essence. 
And, you know, like I said, from survivor to survivor, someone who's been there and done that. Um, there's exercises within the book. So you can just, you know, privately go on this journey with me through the book to find more healing or just even some healing. Some people have never really addressed it and it could have happened 25 years ago. Or if you know someone who's gone through this, this would be a great gift for them as well, guys. Okay. So if you like my channel, what I'm saying here, you absolutely love the books. Um, they touch on things that I haven't touched on on this channel. Also, guys, I'm going to be starting a Patreon. I actually think I've made it live, but I haven't had time to tweak it, tweak and twerk it the way that I want to. And that's going to be um, another tool that you guys will be able to have to have access to me, a lot more access than you will have on the Facebook support group. And even here on YouTube, there will be videos on Patreon and live chats and more exclusive things that I'm not going to be putting on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or any other platforms. That one will have um, a monthly membership, but I'll give you more information about that as it um, comes together. But it will be certainly worth your while. And if you already like my YouTube channel, you're really going to love Patreon. We're going to take it up a few notches and get more personal and intimate, you know, in our dealings. And, you know, go even higher on our um, healing process, okay? All right, guys. So I'm going to stop this um, pillow talk here. You guys have a lovely evening. And for those of you who are listening to this at a random time of the day, of course, have a wonderful day. Your life isn't over. The narcissist did not take everything. So many survivors say, I lost everything. I lost everything. And that you didn't. You didn't. I know what you mean when you say that. You've lost much. You've gone through much. But trust me, they didn't take everything, baby. You're still breathing. You're still here. And particularly for the material things, you will get them back in time. It's going to take time. You'll get them back. You know, but really it's the psychological things in your psyche that I'm most concerned with. Because you can get things back. You can get things back. And I'm not trying to minimize financial abuse either. Don't want you to think that because it can completely devastate someone's life. And I know that firsthand. Okay. All right, guys. So you have a great evening. And until next time, please take care.